Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, but obviously you're watching it, so I have. But um, I just thought I'd talk about a few things like that are going on in the movement right now. <clears throat> Very saddening to see. Now, I have been having these debates with people who aren't vegan for years, literally. But now I find myself having these debates about word use with actual vegans. Now, the majority of these vegans who are having problems with words all of a sudden, for the most part, now not that this is an exclusive, but for the most part, I'm going to say, um, when you go to their page, it's food posts, it's, you know, vegan for the environment, it's other issues, which I don't have a problem with people speaking up for other issues. I think that's fantastic. All right. But they come over to, you know, our pages, start dictating how we speak for the animals. Now, there's a few things specifically. James Aspie, who's a friend, a colleague of mine in the movement, and he caused some controversy with a post talking about animal agriculture being a holocaust. Being a holocaust. Now, this isn't anything new. This has been around for a long time. Now, if anyone knows Alex Hershaft, Dr. Alex Hershaft, founder of uh, Farm Animal Rights uh, Organization, Holocaust survivor who was literally pulled out of the Jewish Holocaust um, as a child and survived, suffered extreme trauma from this, and it actually led him to animal rights and to starting his, one of the first, I believe, animal rights orgs in the world, has talked about the similarities for a long time. Okay, this isn't anything new. Gary Yurofsky, a Jewish uh, vegan activist, spoke about this a lot too for many years. Um, there have been many other um, notable... Uh, Jewish uh, writers and philosophers who have made this same comparison. But the thing is, <clears throat> not everyone who uses the word Holocaust is making a comparison to World War II. What I usually do is just say the animals are going through their own Holocaust. Now the word Holocaust means slaughter or destruction on a mass scale especially caused by fire or nuclear war, but slaughter or destruction on a mass scale. Describes, it's, it's actually the first, first definition. Describes exactly what animals are going through. And everyone knows Holocaust are bad and we should avoid them and we shouldn't repeat atrocities in histories. But the difference between the animal Holocaust is that it's a perpetual Holocaust. They're breeding more, in, more animals into existence to throw them into gas chambers and to execute them en masse, to keep them in you know factory farms, number them, brand them, cut off bits of their body exploit their reproductive organs and steal their children and murder their children. And what is that? What is that? That's a holocaust. I'm sickened to my core to hear animal rights activists tell other animal rights activists not to call what the animals are going through a holocaust. How disgusting. How disgraceful. Now, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say, I have a lot of respect for a few of these activists. Um, a lot of respect and that we just disagree. We disagree. We're going to disagree on what's effective. We all, the movement, since I've been in the movement, I, I, I agree, I'm a newcomer to the movement. I'm a newcomer in, in comparison to some of the people been in the movement 40, 35 years, you know, 10 years. I, I agree, I'm a newcomer, okay? But people who I have deeply respect, people like the creators of Dominion, have put up a post trying to stop us from using this language, rape. Slate, like, we can't use the word rape to describe what happens to dairy cows in the dairy industry, to describe what happens to the bulls when they're being molested for their semen and e electro ejaculated with a, it's a big machine, a big dildo. Uh, sorry for the language, but <laughs> a big machine dildo that goes into their anus and forces them to ejaculate. We can't call that rape now because it's not effective. Because human beings won't think it's rape, they might get offended. And what you're doing is you're offending rape victims. Well, excuse me, human beings aren't the only ones to have been raped. Animals are being raped perpetually by the million every single year. And the creators of Dominion know this, and I have a deep level of respect for Chris at Dominion. I think he's done amazing things for the movement. I mean, but we're going to disagree there, which is why I'm not... I, I would never allow anyone to disrespect... Um, the creators of Dominion for their work for animals because you can't it, the Actions speak a lot louder than words and they've proved that but like this isn't just about the creators of Dominion. They've taken a position because 
the word Holocaust they're saying only applies to World War II. It only applies there. There haven't been other Holocausts in history. Of course there have. Armenian Holocaust. People are talking about now the Indian Holocaust, where British colonials went there and, like, killed... I've seen figures between 30 and 100 million. Look, I'm, I'm not a historian, but there have been, obviously, I knew about the Armenian Holocaust, and Seb Alex has a good video on that. There are other Holocausts which have taken place. Now, what grinds my gears to the fullest, which makes me feel like this is just speciesism, and I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that about Dominion. I know they're not speciesist, but a lot of the people who are making these claims are clearly speciesist. Um, I'd say that maybe the creators of Dominion just think that it's not effective, okay, which is a debate which is up for debate. They're, they're afraid it offends people. Since when have we been worried about offending people? Do you know showing people graphic footage of what happens to animals is offensive? Inherently offensive? And there's activists out there, long-term animal rights people, who say you shouldn't show graphic footage to people. It's triggering, it causes trauma. But we're not allowed to use words to cause trauma. But we're out, it's fine to show graphic footage, which I agree with. I agree with, I do it constantly. I, of course I do. But we shouldn't use words. We shouldn't use words to describe the animal's plight that we would use if there was another holocaust of human beings taking place right now that was a mass slaughter, maybe even an extermination. We would call that a holocaust and, and it needs to end, wouldn't we? Wouldn't we? But because it's the animals, and the majority of the population are speciesist, they don't think animals deserve the words, that we should then pander, we should then pander to the oppressor of the non-human animals. Because that word only applies to a specific part of history, doesn't it? No, actually, wait a second, no it doesn't. It applies to anyone who experiences a mass slaughter like that, doesn't it? And including the non-human animals. Now what you're doing, like, as I see, look, it's great there's people that care about all these different issues, okay? I'm an animal person. I got into this movement to help the animals. They don't have a voice. I'm their voice, I'm their voice. And I'm telling you, what they're experiencing is a mass slaughter of innocent beings, and that's a holocaust. Now, people want us to change the word. I know this video is going to sound like I'm sporadic because I have been really pissed off about this. And excuse me if I get passionate about this because I'm really passionate about this. We shouldn't be using different words to describe what happens to animals if we use those same words to describe atrocities that happen to humans. Okay? How many... Look, there's... The amount of people that are offended by the words are the same... You could bring up the same amount of people who agree with it. Like in the movement, in the, in the vegan movement. We are trying to reach non-vegans who are speciesist and say, hey, hey, guess what? Animals are victims too of rape. Animals are victims too of murder. Murder's one. Like, so it starts with Holocaust, okay? It starts with Holocaust, it's, it's offensive, right? Even though much of the Jew Jewish community, prominent animal rights activists who are Jewish agree, but that doesn't bear any holding on the truth of the, of the, of the word. It's true whether you agree with it or not. It's objectively true. Now, the word murder, my uncle was murdered. He was stabbed dozens of times and left to die on his couch in his unit. And it happened when I was 14. It was deeply traumatizing for my entire family. He left behind two children and a, a partner. It was, it was, my father was devastated by this. He used to cry himself to sleep a lot. It was, uh, I mean, it was a hard thing for the family. Um, going to the funeral was hard. Um, you know, my father was, hadn't, I remember my father couldn't sleep properly after I used to hear him having nightmares and my father's passed away now and um, you know, it, look, look, I, we experienced the murder in the family and many people out there have. When a pig gets stabbed to death in a slaughterhouse, do you know what I say? That pig's an individual, they were murdered. And if another activist comes along and they say this pig's murdered and, and, and I say, well, come on, that's a bit offensive, my uncle was murdered, you're bringing up trauma for me. That's not an argument. That's not an argument whether or not another innocent being is being murdered, okay? And when you have a mass atrocity, the numbers are staggering. You cannot even... The numbers are incomparable. The numbers are staggering. 74 billion land animals. 74 billion. It's talking about over 50 billion chickens, birds, innocent baby birds, six weeks old, a year, okay? Now, the numbers alone, trillions of marine animals, trillions, what's a trillion? You can't even imagine, I can't imagine a trillion. No one can, it's, it's a staggering number. Every single year, one to three trillion uh, animals, uh, marine animals. Okay, so we're talking about trillions of animals. It's, it's a staggering number, and this happens perpetually every single year. We are supposed to be more worried about who these words offend versus actually using words that have gravity to explain something, like murder, like robbing someone of their life against their will, which is an atrocity, okay? 
We're supposed to worry more about offending non-vegans who are paying for this atrocity to happen. If there's any non-vegans watching, if you become aware of this, you have to stop. You have to stop. But I'm not going to worry about if you're offended by this. I'm going to worry about speaking the objective truth from the animal's position. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Dairy cows are raped. Okay? Pigs in the, in the pork industry are raped. They are. They're violated, sexually abused, have things stuck inside of their body to impregnate them against their will. Their, their, their piglets are kidnapped from them, stolen from them, executed. We must be the only movement of justice who manipulates our language to suit the oppressor of the victim that we are defending. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine any other movement of justice manipulating their language so that it didn't offend people who are oppressing? Can you imagine that? Imagine going up to, you know, a full-blown skinhead KKK who's just a piece of SHRT and going, hey, I don't want to offend you, but you're being a racist. You know what I mean? Like, of course not. You just, you, you go, you defend the victim how you would want to be defended. And that's why I'm angry. That's why I'm upset about this. It's not because, like, we can, we, can, we can all have disagreements about what's effective. Okay, so some people do disagree with showing slaughter footage, which is what Dominion is, showing slaughter footage. And this isn't just about Dominion. It's less about Dominion. It's less about um, Dominion, to be honestly honest with you. I deeply admire um, the creators of Dominion. Deeply admire, and that will never change. No matter what happens, that will never change. But what I do find troubling is that most of this is coming from people who don't speak for animals. <clears throat> they don't speak for non-human animals. They might eat a plant-based diet. And they're trying to dictate how activists speak because out of fear of offending people. And I just think that that's a grave, a grave mistake. And I will not stand for it. I will not stand for it. Uh, call me whatever you want. There's people who are going around calling people horrible names. Horrible names in the movement. Um, you know, calling everyone racist. Calling people white supremacists and disgusting things like this. Which is defamation of character, because you're going to say disgusting things like that about people. You know, you want to back it up because, you know, lawyers might have a different idea about what you're talking about here. But when you take an animal and you chain them up and you force them to produce milk for you, or you cage hens up in small cages or in big barns and you make them lay more eggs than they naturally would, 300 more eggs than they naturally would a year, Okay, so they usually lay about 10 or 12 a year. Now they're laying 300. You're forcing them to do labor for you so you can take what's, the, uh, take what's theirs from them, okay, which puts an enormous strain on their body. And then you're taking them to a slaughterhouse to cut their head off, okay, once you're done, once you're done with them. Now, if that's not slavery, what is? What is? You know, people think these words only apply to human beings, and they don't. And if you want to make up new words to describe what happens to animals, or what you're doing is you're otherizing that group. You're marginalizing them further. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You think you're helping the animals? Okay, you might. Okay, we can do, we, maybe you think, oh, saying that cows are raped puts people off. I've been pretty successful. I've been pretty successful. And you could probably be successful without calling it rape. I'm not saying you wouldn't. But some of us are going to. Because some of us view animals, not, not, maybe not on exactly the equal plane, but we view them worthy enough of these words and worthy enough to be defended like a, we were defending a human animals are more innocent you know people say oh you care more about a chicken than a human not necessarily i care about them enough enough that they deserve uh proper defense i care them i care about chickens more than your emotions more than be, you being offended that's 100 percent certain that's 100 percent certain now now i i implore you um, if you, you're animal people, you care about animals, okay, and you might even be, you might even care about other issues as well. I ask you to use your logic and to ask yourself if, if it were a human in their position, would you, how would you speak for them? How, what do you, how do you think they deserve to be spoken for? You know, if it were a dog, your dog from home, if someone shot your dog in the head, would that be murder? If someone took your dog, chained them up, forced them to... Uh, produce bodily fluids for you and then you cut their head off would that would that be uh slavery you know they couldn't move they're stuck in a cage you're controlling their movement you're treating them as property a resource skin turning them into a jacket they have no rights they have no freedom they have no bodily autonomy that's not they're not slaves come on come on this is 
I think that this just props up speciesism. That's what it does. It just, what you're doing is you're, like, look at the industry. Look at the industry. The industry use words like humane slaughter and, you know, farming and harvesting euphemisms. You want us to use euphemisms to describe what happens to animals? Yeah, not, not while I'm around. Not while I'm around, I'll tell you right now. Not while I'm around. We're not going to use euphemisms to describe what happens to animals. Well, I'm not. You can, if you believe it's not effective, you go, you go right ahead. I don't always use these words, but I do when I need to explain clearly so that people understand that, hey, you switch roles with this uh, sentient being, that's rape, that's slavery, and that's, and when you do it to a large group of sentient innocent beings en masse, that's also a holocaust, okay? Now, I had to get that out. Um, I don't think that just because we have a different sort of opinion here that we can't stay in our own lanes and do our own things okay you don't have to advocate like that and you can still be effective you can still get people to connect you can still describe rape without saying the word which i think okay you've got a shortcut here just use the word but you can describe forcibly penetrating an innocent being against their will and violating their sexual uh, reproductive system you know traumatizing the poor animal so they don't know what happened and they're innocent beings scared and terrified you can say that Okay? Or you could say they're raping these animals with their fist to impregnate them en masse. It's a mass atrocity. It's a holocaust. You know, um, I, I just think people try to play politician too much. Too much trying to, like, censor and, you know, manipulate their language to suit, you know, people's emotions. And if I worried about how people felt, I wouldn't be out telling um, dairy farmers that they're, they're, when they stick their fist inside a cow, non-consenting animal who doesn't conceptualise consent, that that's rape. Imagine if I didn't, you know, I've got a lot of media like that too. Imagine if I cared about what the farmers thought. Imagine if you cared about, so much about the emotions of the farmers, their, their mental health, that you didn't want to expose the cruelty in their farm. Because this is a slippery slope. This is where it's leading to. This is where it's leading to, and this is why I don't like it. And, um, yeah, like, I just want to say, like, if we do have a difference of opinion... You know, and you are an, a, a good, strong animal rights activist who does their part for the animals, and you're not someone who's just posting food and then criticizing animal rights people for speaking up for the animals. If you're one of those people who's, you know, in it for the animals and you speak about other issues and you feel like you're going to navigate your speech, I, I really do. I still, of course, we respect you. You're a voice for the animals. I, I, I mean, but when you're not a voice for the animals and you come into the movement and go, don't use that word, bro, you know, it's offensive. Like, you're not going to get anywhere. All you're going to do is reinforce the reason why we should be using these words because animals have been treated like nothing for long enough.